TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue. Grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Right behind me, you see it. Little warning screen just in case. Don't forget, man, we are do we are on twitch.com. That's where you can catch any live stream. The username is at the bottom of the screen. And we do have a Patreon where we post five days per week. What are we watching on Patreon right now? Brasic. You know what I'm saying? Game of Thrones. Uh skins. Shameless. And what else? Uh, what are we watching? One more. Oh, Gavin and Stacy. That's the lineup right now. Links in the description. Let's get into this, man. This is all new traffic cops. Talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. I was having technical difficulties. Please, as we knock, stop, stop! Please, as we knock, stop, stop! Knox Interceptors boast 22 highly trained police dogs who specialize in finding drugs and cash, <laughs> tracking runaways, Chuck up. and scaring the bejesus out of bad guys. Get the dog off me! Okay, ah, stand still. The dog units also play their part in drug busts, and today, Jen Else and Police Dog Quantum are back up for a heavyweight Quantum. entry team. Who are raiding a former pub in the Burbs. I feel like this is a little hectic. We didn't right into it. Can we ease our way in with a police chase first? Like, what's going on? They have intel that it's a drug den with five suspects inside. Surprise is key. So they force entry with a hooli bar. And then, police! Police! Police, don't move! Come on, bring the enforcer or the doors are locked. Enforcer! Enforcer! The enforcer is a big red key that batters doors. This one's had an upgrade. Please! And works a treat. Have on your back. What is this? Is a bar or a house? What is going on? Problem. What's the problem? Hand behind your back now. Huh? Two men are nicked in the first room. Right next to. Who's got the next door? Open up. But the pub is a warren of hiding places. Every door's locked. Swim. Briefly. You got hurt, got hurt, Bob. Yeah, cheers. Three. Are you sure this is a pub or is this like a this look like a eight what do I call it? HMO situation? He suspects nicked. But there should be two more in this maze of locked doors. Downstairs now. Oh, this is the pub bit. No time for a pint. Oh, they entered through upstairs and went there. Okay. Okay. Because every second increases the chances of someone escaping. No. And every locked door slows the cops down. Out! Out now! Pass me on. The pub served up another suspect. Oh, well, young man, who's in like this? Hi, uh, I bet you. I know you have, but why are you doing this like this? Why, why are you up the... Because Intel says a major drug op is being run from this pub. Okay, so what if Intel was wrong? Who pays for all the broken doors and things of that nature? Can you just keep hold of him, yeah. just so <laughs> I'm not... You're not a murderer or something. I'm not saying you're a murderer, but you're at the minute you're detained, you that's all. Oh, you're not stopping me off with you, then, yeah? We're not going to do it, she'll bend my arms back. 
One suspect named in the intel is still unaccounted for. Police officer Tazen, you've heard myself no, no! Just the ghosts of barflies in the saloon. I mean, the toilet's been done, yeah? But he could be lurking in the beer cellar. Good, eh? You gotta send quantum or something. <laughs> no, God. Oh, God. Oh, cobwebs, cobwebs, cobwebs. <laughs> oh, God. Now worse than cobwebs. Oh, God. But still no sign of suspect <coughs> number five. But the pub is being watched by drone. I watch the windows because it's likely to come out the windows, isn't it? And by Jen and Quantum. There's a door, three windows. But while they scour the east side, the eagle-eyed drone operator spots the missing suspect making a break for it from the west. Get up on. He fence jumps into an adjacent property and legs it down an alleyway, pursued by two cops. <laughs> Darting between houses, the runner pulls away and crosses the main road. He's too quick for them. Please for the dog, stop, stop! But not for Quantum. Stop, stop, Quantum! Get Quantum on your butt now. It's done. You cooked. Pass <laughs> The runner's jumped onto the roof. <laughs> Yeah, smart man, he got on top of that car. ...of a parked car. They've no idea if he's carrying anything dangerous. So the land shark strikes. Down on the floor now! <laughs> Down on the floor! Stop Down on the floor! <laughs> oh my life, why would you pull me off this car into the grip of this dog's mouth like this? This is insane. On your front I'm, now! Look at my arm! Ah. You sit still! I'm done, I'm done, look, look. Rubberneckers are dangerously close. Get over there now! Get over there! It's Jen's job to keep them safe. Stay where you are! <laughs> Stay where you are! <laughs> the suspect's reaching for something. You leave it! So I'm putting back on you. Get on your front now! Oh, no. Get on your front now! Oh. Now! Get on your front now! Yeah, Reinforcements front. help him get onto his front. Watch him! Watch him! Watch him! Watch him! Turns out he was reaching for a wedge of cash that fell out of his pocket. Well, I don't even know why you're chasing me, bro. Oh, you ran. You did, just not fast enough. I've got your money here. Yeah. Oh, we got entertained, he's been bitten. Why should you let the dog bite my arm like that? You ran away. I bet we should. You were told to stop. Uh, my arm. I'm not gonna lie, they did let that dog bite that man's arm. Like, for real, they did. That man was on top of the car with nowhere to go. She pulled him off and let Quantum bite him. Oh, bad. All together now, never run from the dog. <laughs> oh, my arm. Ah. Five detained. Don't hurt that much. You're under arrest, suspicion of uh, conspiracy, spy and money laundering. Bullshit. Okay. Back at the pub, cops learn how timely their raid was. Mm. Lovely metal boss putting up with us. So you lucky? What were you doing that for? Could save scripts, innit? You know what I mean? Burglars around here, innit? You know what I mean? The cops are less worried about burglars and more about drugs alleged to be at the property. Come here, Cooper. <laughs> Drugs that Jen's on a mission to find with sniffer dog Cooper. I, I don't think okay. they're gonna find that. What's this? For some reason, I just don't feel like they're gonna find that. What's this? Come on. Yeah, that's gross. Come here, over there. Come on. It's dirty work. It's gross. It's got flies. But someone's got to do it. Stinks. Cooper's sense of smell is 10,000 times stronger than ours. Ew, dead pigeon. So he deserves a medal or a tennis ball. He's, he's looking for his ball, that's what he's looking for. Yeah. He's not going to find that until he finds me something. Yeah, yeah. Sure enough. Because, uh, 
Flavax. Bit of cannabis. And then it's not. Yeah. Wraps of white powder. Oh, nice. Cooper. Cooper. Far from a den, though. We were promised a den. Cooper. That's probably had something in it, I'm guessing. That's what he's after. Oh, yeah. Wait, let's just put the dog on it a sec. Come yeah. on, Cooper. Oops. There you go. There's something there. Come on, out. Out, Cooper. Oh, I see. This is it. This is the wrap <laughs> of pure Colombian. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? I don't think it is there. In this dump, it's as likely to be an old pub lunch. What is it? Stop it. There's nothing there. <laughs> oh, 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 come on. A brick of white. Whoever's room this is, you're cooked. You're done. You're done. They just found the key. Get out of there, buddy. Powder. Thank you very much. That is a brilliant find. Take a bow, Cooper. Boo is better. a good boy. Yeah, you can have him for that. He's a good lad. Yeah. He, he is. Oh, look at him. Oh, I'd be ripping this bedroom apart. The whole property was ripped apart, revealing quite the haul. Safes containing jewellery, two tasers and a hundred grand in cash. Oh, wow. Two bricks of coke with a potential street value north of a hundred grand. A large bag of mamba, a further two grand in cash, a BB gun, an imitation machete and a dead pigeon. Can you get my flip -flop? Where is it? An imitation machete? I'm lost. One of them's in the road, one of them's down the alleyway, innit? The runner, detained by Quantum, was found guilty of possession with intent to supply Class A and B drugs. Yeah, but he's going to jail. He's gone for at least 14. He took the he took the rap for all of it, or everybody accumulated? acquiring criminal property and possession with intent to supply Mamba. He awaits sentencing and may well spend time behind bars. The girl arrested in the bedroom was charged but found not guilty at court. Meanwhile, the other three suspects were released with no further action. But he took all the charges. Coming up. If it's not Lisa, I don't care. That's good out to 2 NH. It's the start of a new shift for Jen and Quantum. And there's no calm before the storm tonight. There's been some sort of altercation on the street where a plant pot's been thrown through a window, apparently. And uh, uh, the has been flagged down by you, so his mate's been thrown under the night. Plant pots through windows, reports of a knife, most of us would run for the hills. Yeah, we've seen the uh, shows travelling. But this is just what Quantum ordered. Yeah. Big Quantum in the back. Yeah. As they reach the area, there's not much to see. Until someone legs it down the street ahead. Running man's past local cops. Quantum gonna get another little bike? Leaving the foot chase to other units, Jen doubles back in the car. Towards the high street. What high street? What's this mail done, please? Quantum could outrun him. Anybody else got... Who, who's been bit by a dog? I've never been bit by a dog. I've been bit by a cat, which is crazy. When I was younger, bit my whole hand. But Jen treads carefully. I need to know what he looks like, so I can't send my dog to stop someone. They've surrounded the area. What does he look like? A uh, shell smell of 510. Uh, white. What's he smell like? And have a good description of the runner. So tell me the last time you've seen him then. That's what I need to know. But they don't know if he was involved in the suspected plant pot or knife incidents. Do you stay here then? It's quantum time. A scent. And a sighting. <coughs> stop now! Stop! Stop now! Stop still now! Stop still! 
Running man's lost his top and he's about to lose much more. still now. Okay. Alright, buddy out there playing with that dog like that. Quantum's favourite food is roast chicken, but he'll gladly make a meal of this pedigree chum. Still now. Right, Who's begging to be bitten? He is. Down on the floor now. Please just the table. Down on the floor now. Get down on the floor. Playing the fool between quantum and fifty thousand volts isn't the smartest. But he's surrounded. I don't even gonna play with you. Like I'll get tased before I get bit by a dog. That's like if. <laughs> If they were like, oh yeah, which one do you want? You gotta take one. I'm getting tased. Rendered in the nick of time. <laughs> they think this is the guy who lobbed a fl it's Probably not even him. And I know he didn't chase him. So, you know what I'm saying? My Power fault. parts through. My fault. A window. <laughs> legs up to your chest. Put your legs up to your chest. And onto your side. Put your legs to your chest. He's playing for laughs. But Quantum's not amused. The suspect is led off the road. You sit yourself down on the To protest his innocence. What did I do? Honestly, what did I do actually wrong? And let his mouth off the lead. Shut your mouth, Kinnick. Oi! Watch your language. Stay classy, fella. Your mum must be really proud of you, eh? Go on then, doggy. Go on then. Go on then. Home. 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 Go on then. Go on then. Home. Home. Go on then. Go on then, doggy. Home. 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 Go on then. Oh, now she'd be wrong if she let Quant and bite that man's chest. Unlike Quant's, this guy's bark is worse than his bite. Who are you talking to? Who are you You're being recorded, mate. You're being recorded. Yeah. And it's not a pretty picture. Keep going. You don't, you don't bother me, mate. Uh, you had too much orange ate. You've had too much squash. Those playground insults really take it out of you. Hi, doggy. But the dog whisperer's ready for round two. Shove your dog. What? 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 You're barking up a very dangerous. You better calm down. Quantum really want a piece of you. Chris Tree, son. Just not phased by the dog, which is worrying, which it means his perception and everything is a bit, yeah. Class A. Prancing for Quantum like a cut price Tyson Fury was the pinnacle of. Brother dog, he got too much booger sugar in his nasal cavity. Poor judgment. Twinkle Toes is lucky he wasn't lunch. He's not really helping himself now either. <laughs> Oscar Dodd's 2 2 and 8. He's kicked off again and been restrained. What's the ETA on the van, please? We could do with this sooner rather than later. Just a knock in a mind. Yeah, it's received. He's just got no top on. It's freezing and he's uh, intermittently kicking off. Stop <laughs> kicking out. They decide to put him in leg restraints. <laughs> Shame they can't restrain his mouth. Mate, when you let go, you're smacking your face. Absolutely, off his head. Prince Charming's carriage has arrived, but he's not ready to leave the ball. He's still being violent now, you can hear him. He's kicking the back of the police van. Just literally disgusting behaviour, isn't it? To speak to me, we're just trying to do our job at the end of the day. And this is what you get. And that's what he's doing, look, he's headbutting his... Uh, we, c we cannot allow it. Is that a swivel chair? I didn't know they had this in there. They could just watch you like that. <laughs> to basically injure himself. I can't get involved with the dog at this point. We're going to have to try and put him in some sort of restraints. Get out, man. What are you out here, man? Get out. No. They're forced to drag him out and restrain him. Oh, oh. So you want to get out? He's if you're going to take the button, he's coming out. Come on. Listen, just chill out. Just chill out. It's not gonna help, guy is it? Angry okay. I know, someone. I know what you're saying. Just chill out. Get you sorted. Alright? 
Thank you very much. Right, Despite the insults take some deep and threats. If you're not locked in there forever, you're just going to be drove a very short way down to Radford and you'll get a nice warm cell and you'll have to sleep it off. Oh, thank you. And Jen's still looking out for him. You need to all get right. in, chill out, we'll get you a blanket, so get you dry and warm, all right? Class, right? You listen, chill out now. Bon voyage. See you on the other side, babes. <laughs> I'll have a warm bed for the night and probably regret it in the morning. <laughs> Telling you, there's something about female officers that calm you down. Once he, like, was on the ground and the pavement and it was cold and Jen got to speaking, he was like, you know what? You're right. You're right. I'm tripping. <laughs> it was not as much as if he'd been bitten, so life could be worse. No suspects were identified regarding the alleged knife incident but the flowerpot man was cautioned for criminal damage. In the sober light of day, he can reflect on how close he came to a taser's barbs or quantum's teeth. Meanwhile, Saint Jen can reflect on her superhuman reserves of forgiveness. We just need to sometimes bring ourselves down a little bit, I think, to bring them down a little bit and show them a bit of, I know it's hard, compassion. And no man thinks like that. That's why women officers play a vital role. That type of level headedness, where there's no pride <laughs> at all in the situation. When it comes to crime fighting tech, interceptors could give Batman a run for his money. From Don't be stupid. <laughs> Batman is a billionaire. 50,000 volt tasers. Taser, taser, taser! To thermal imaging drones. And their big brother. Yeah, about 90 seconds away. We're viewing it at distance. In short, in this age of technology, you can run, but you can't hide from the interceptors. There must be four people, I think, a dog. We're just playing the night sun up now for you. It's gone midnight and Jim Campin is after a suspected thief in a Ford Focus. Well, now While late night pedestrians watch in horror, the runaway cuts corners, clips curbs and races with no lights. Jim's at the sharp end, but reinforcements are closing in fast. Last one, Jim. Keep on it, mate. Sergeant Carrington with Lewis Marshall. Zulu 2, we're about two minutes away. And fellow firearms officers Lisa DeSantis. Go. Now the real police is showing up. And then first left. And Rich Elliott. Fox up two for me about one minute. Police on the GPS. <laughs> Who are a minute nearer the action than their sergeant. Right again. They arrived just ahead of him and took in behind the lead car. Car behind me. Beautiful double three. Yes, but I'm not T back, mate. <laughs> but Boy, why are you driving and Lisa's not driving? Lisa's T pack trained. Get out the driver's seat. You knew what you was doing. You knew you didn't have the same qualifications as Lisa when you stepped in the driver's seat. What are you doing? Leave it to the professionals. But as a brave bystander points the way, T-Pack won't be necessary. Coming in from the opposite direction, a crime car's blocked the road, but not the pavement. That's crashed. Putting pedestrians at risk, the runaway makes to flee on the pavement. In a Not split work. second, the cop car makes a tactical turn and takes him out. Decamp, decamp, decamp. But the driver's made a run for it. Lisa is moving the quickest I've ever seen. Hold on. Tell us one more time, Lisa. 
Oh, decamp. Decamp, decamp, decamp. But the driver's made a run for it. Where's he gone? Which way's he gone then? A manhunt underway, complete with the dog unit. I know we just, that's the first time we've seen Lisa run. <laughs> it's organised chaos. The thing is, he's going to be in these gardens somewhere. The thing is, he's going to be in these gardens somewhere. Lisa, what happened to the sense of urgency? With so many boots and paws on the ground, I'm going to get up here. Put this off. It should only be a matter of time. There's so many of us here. It would be a shame if he gets away. But sheer numbers have worked against them. The melee of us lot trying to get out of the cars, and with all the lights going, I didn't even see which way he went. To add to the mayhem, you won't be able to get out there. Locals are causing a distraction. At the minute, we're just dealing with something quite serious, all right? Yeah, all the local... Uh, How did Lisa turn into the traffic warden right now? Uh, youths have decided they've got nothing better to do. I don't think my life's ever been that boring that I need to stand this close to police incident. With strength in numbers, a ring of cops contains the area, while Jim and Lewis start a garden-to-garden -garden search. I'm in the next garden, Chris. This gate's open, isn't it? Old lady in there. But it's a dodgy needle in a dark haystack job. You need to give us a heads up somehow. The drone or somebody needs to give us a heat source. We've got to contain, we've got a chance. To get back out of the front, yeah. While they wait for the drone team... Have we got drone on the way? Jim and Lewis return to the stacked focus. Shout out to the cameraman for the Lisa angles. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully, though. Somebody's got knocking my out of a car. Which may hold a clue as to why the driver ran. Radiators. Who nicks radiators? That they suspect are stolen. Who nicks radiators, really? There were almost 20,000 metal theft offences in England and Wales last year. Driving like this, loaded with scrap. So where are you even steal radiators from? Like out the crib of somebody? The suspect's lucky he wasn't decapitated. <laughs> I take it that's a radiator mark, not his head. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's dangerous, them rattling around in the car, isn't it? It's a miracle he could run at all. He's, he's on his toes, unfortunately. Drone's going up, see if we can locate him, but at the minute he's um, made good his escape. Uh, with a bit of luck, we'll catch up with him. Sergeant Carrington does it all. Dad of twins, operation. And I, will, I, I don't want to blame this on Lisa, but it felt like she was leading, leading all of this. Firearms commander, TPAC train pursuit driver. But he does let someone else fly the drone. Basically, he's, he's crashed. Yes, pretty much around this junction, right. and he's gone in this direction. Okay. So he's either garden up in this way, or yeah. it's just jump for vicinity. So it's like that quarter there. Yes, pretty much. Drones up, dogs looking, but it's not going to be an easy task. Indeed, the drone team is struggling to find anything until Ooh. they spot a heat source nearby. I doubt it, but drone reckons there's a heat source directly to the near side of what I think is our police car in the garden. The heat Bro is that close to y'all? It is radiating from a red herring. Yeah, to the drone, apologies. We've, we've researched that. That's, uh, it's not our man. Bugger. We have got Empaths lifted, which is the helicopter, but that's 20 minutes away. There's a lot of ground, a lot of gardens, and I think he's probably escaped. Technology's drawn a blank. <sighs> it's such a shame. But sometimes, nothing beats old-fashioned detective work. There's been some paper found in the vehicle. It comes back to one of the local well-known uh, well, criminals, I guess, to us. Uh, he lives around the corner, so we can have a little bit of a walk about. The interceptors did... That's dumb. Always follow the paper trail, no matter what it is. And Eventually get their man. They couldn't prove he was at the wheel of the Focus full of radiators and took no further action. 
However, he was later convicted of other unconnected driving offences and lost his licence for six months. Coming up... All that and, and got away with it. Salute. Why? What is going on? Go, 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 get out of the way. Come on. It's a busy night on the A46 and Coops is racing to a property in Nottingham after a worrying call from a member of the public. Got it. very early reports at the minute of a uh, man with a gun uh, wearing a puffer jacket with a uh, another male. That's all we've got. As Coop's 155 mile per hour Skoda clears the traffic. Puffer jacket activity. You might as well add that to the list. Black Air Force Ones, puffer jackets, and balaclavas. There we go. News comes in of a second armed man. Both these males have got pistols, firearms, and they're chasing one another. So firearms are all armed up, ready to go. What episode is this? Why is this so... <laughs> Dogs will be there shortly. Well, we would not have it. People running around the streets in Nottingham brandishing firearms at one another. Coop's favourite action hero is Rambo. So much so that he named his partner after him. Oh, come on, three miles away. No, At these speeds, that's less than five minutes, Coops has arrived. So they are currently still inside a flat at the moment. Door number is still unknown over. The suspects have gone inside some flats, and Coops joins a convoy of cops. The plan is to get to the back of it. Who surround the property. Yeah, they're coming out of there. You know how crazy firearms are in Florida? My friend, she lives like in the hood, <laughs> like outside of her window one night, there was some dudes arguing and he had an AR-15, street sweeper, police was called, they came, they did one circle around the property and left, not in the UK, that could never happen, talking they out there giving it they all. They stretching that taxpayer dollar out there. They're going to get you. There, uh, look, you see him. One of the suspects is back on the street. He's got into a black beamer. So I can you get by, mate? And firearms have got into position. Yes, yes. 100%. Once you he pass, I think that car will obviously have to change direction now. Black BMW, this male's got in. They block the beamer and strike. <laughs> Coops and Rambo are ready in case he runs. But the suspects made the sensible choice. Contact! Walk backwards towards us, and then we're going to put some microphones on you. One detained. Two men jumped this. But reports say there were two men with guns. Go inside, please. Go inside. Now, do it now. No sooner have they cleared bystanders off the street than a man matching the description of the second suspect appears in the door to the flats. This is literally what they had outside my friend's house of the second suspect appears in the door to the flats. It looks like there's a party going on. And with two suspects secure, they decide to clear the building at gunpoint. One more time when I call you, wait at the door. Jack, can you have another? Need one more. Can you go to see him out of pockets and kick? A party? This looks like a sausage fest, don't it? It's all puffer coats and, and beanies coming out of here. You fella, go across to him there. Jack, I'll come and join you. Yeah. Dogs not moving, mate. Dogs not moving. Dogs not moving. In 15 minutes, 
They've emptied the property. And the party is very much over. Might be a casting call. Casting ouch call. I've just seen pure evidence. This is getting wicked, ain't it? We've got everyone detained safely. The house we believe is clear, but we're gonna see. Let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, it looks like there's a party going on. One. And with two One. suspects secured, two. they decide to clear the building at gunpoint. Go across to him there. Jack, I'll come and join you. Yeah. Come on, mate. Keep your hands where I can see them. Dog's not moving, mate. Dog's not moving. Dog's not moving. In 15 minutes, <laughs> they've em count six dudes. Emptied the property. <laughs> and the <p> <laughs> Oh, man. That's. that's is that another lady coming out too? Party is very much over. We've got everyone detained safely. The house we believe is clear, but we're going to search it. We do suspect it to be a BB gun. They might have made just made a mistake by playing a game out in the front front to the building, but still someone's scared about what's happened because they think that someone's fighting with guns outside the address. So we'll go and see and find out. Well, the whole unit is out here. What's going on? Led by interceptor Rob Ely, firearms search the house. Target, so I messed up as well. Yeah. It's a gas powered one. It doesn't take long to find the weapons. So they're not. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is easily confusable with real firearms. Definitely. To be um, potentially gas powered uh, ball bearing guns, perfectly legal to own, we may look at that and, and identify it as, as not a, a conventional firearm. Uh, but to a member of the public out there, they won't potentially know, um, and it's certainly going to frighten people. Right, Am I no. going to get confiscated or...? Is your, I don't know yet, mate. I'll be lying to you if I said yes or no. You... Right, Am I no. going to get confiscated or...? Is your, I don't know yet, mate. I'll be lying to you if I said yes or no. You... The suspects and the party crowd are helpful and friendly. Are oh, you part of armed police team? No, I'm dogs. Oh, so, uh, oh your dog. Hey, hey, that's his dog. That's your dog. Huh? That's your dog. There's four dogs here. Oh, there, yeah. <laughs> but friendly or not, the two boys with the BB guns have been invited to their own party at the Nick. For what? <laughs> I'm going to take them down there and have a stern talking to them and let them go. The lads are Nick. The lads are arrested for waving BB guns around outside, got penalty disorder notices for using threatening behavior. They were each fined 90 pounds. This was actually a birthday bash for one of them, but it went with the wrong kind of bank. Not tonight, not his birthday, not any night. Um, but it's not. See, that's why you can't invite certain people, man, because they get to plan too much doing dumb stuff. That was stupid. Acceptable. <laughs> Interceptors aren't afraid to get in harm's way to protect the public. Watch out. Watch out. We've seen this episode. And sometimes they pay the price. Kicked me in the nose, mate. His armour is like hit me in the face, Ooh, causing my nose to bleed. But there's one blow everyone fears. Don't you spit? Spitting's just horrible. It's, um, I've been spat out and it's, it's just disgusting. That was at the start of Covid. Someone spat in my mouth. It's just not nice. I'd rather be physically assaulted than spat out. To be perfectly honest. Me too. 100%. 100%. It's late morning, two miles from the Derbyshire border. The dealing with <coughs> amazing, so 
Interceptors Kingo and Chantel have eyes on a suspicious pair parked in a VW. Go ahead. They're dogging. Just driven past a car that's parked up. It's linked to um, potentially a drug driver. Oh, okay. And it's outside a flat that's currently meant to be dealing. Um, like I say. The car has drug markers, but appears to be driven by someone other than the registered keeper. The driver has got out at the minute. The plan is for when he gets back in to go and um, go and stop him. Nearby in the unmarked Volvo. His vehicle was parked outside and just linked to drugs. Possibly might have gone to buy him. When he comes out, plan will be to grab hold of him. Johnny and Matt are primed in case the driver makes a break for it. Had an interesting experience yesterday at home. Oh, yeah? So, um, get a phone call. We don't want to hear about your personal life. Let's get back to the intercepting of police. From the neighbour to say, there's a cow in your garden? Men. <laughs> <laughs> so I wasn't actually particularly happy because I take pride in my grass, you know what I mean? <laughs> Trees been eaten. <laughs> Tales from the countryside will have to wait. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, it wasn't even an interesting story. You know what I'm saying? Like, the golf drivers left the property <coughs> and taken off before Kingo and Chantel could swoop. So Matt gets his toe down. Kilo seven off, mate, way towards Lee. Matt's an ice hockey fan. But when he gets his skates on in a Volvo XC70, he's as sure-footed as they come. Yeah. Okay, okay. They're on scene in seconds. Okay. To find two cop cars, multiple interceptors and one stopped golf. The passenger's calm, but the driver's agitated. Just do your search then. I'll do it when I'm good and ready. Don't bullshit, just do your search, innit? I'll do it when I'm good and ready, not when you tell me to. Alright, and do whatever, whatever, mate. Do what See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying from earlier when the lady cop? This is pride. This is pride from this officer. I'll do whatever I want when I'm ready. Why are you even, why are you even going back and forth with this man? <laughs> what are you doing, mate? What's your name, chap? I've just told him my name. No, yeah, I mean, you've told me to. Name or no name, he's the spit of a guy they've nicked before. Yeah. He's spat in my face, yeah. Did that? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah he's like... The self-confessed spitter is loaded into Kingo's car. You got the key to this, mate, uh, double tap it. And while cops go to work searching the golf, he's getting worked up. What's up, man? It's just a bastard. Right, please. They've turned up a purse full of cash on the back seat. I heard him say, that's why I was going shopping with people. Are you buying a house? Are you buying a house? A house. The lass claims the cash is hers. House. You don't see the Gucci belt around her waist? And there's a considerable amount. North of 800 quid. Well, I've saved up. I had a tin at home. I can show you the tin. We've got money in it. I've cashed money in. Has she? Yeah. Gucci belt. Nice little necklace. <laughs> Where'd she say that? She was going to go be a woman. She was going to go treat herself. That's cool, bro. She just said good. Meanwhile, it turns out the driver is disqualified. He's taken. What does that mean? Disqualified. And not the nicest company. Shaz, it's really, really good. We're complying. Um, he's got history for spitting the police. The driver already has a conviction for assaulting police after spitting in Kingo's face last time they met. Imagine Kingo getting his face spit in again, knowing that he does this. <laughs> Fighting, fighting, fighting. And he's just lunched at Kingo, only to be restrained by Lee. Spit, 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 just calm him down. They think he's about to spit, and given his history, they, oh, they think he's about to okay. move to protect themselves with a spit there hood. There you go. Stop struggling. Get off me now, you bald prick. Oh, you stop struggling me now. Under the mesh hood, the only person he can spit on now is himself, but he's still struggling. Get off me now. Sit up then. <laughs> Get a seatbelt on me. Cops try to keep time in a spit hood to a minimum. Do you want to go with these as well? Oh. And then at least have this three in the car. Calm it down. 
But this guy's not making it. They didn't even find anything. I don't know. It's easy. I'm not getting off you now. <coughs> You've just lunged at him. Stop no, tensing up and just calm it. down. Go, go off me. No, no one's dickhead. touching you. Calm down. Go off me now. It's slow going. Bro is on performance enhancements. He is angry for what the you're gonna stay calm. We're gonna try and get out of here and leg strap you. Well, just chill out, yeah. No. I feel like he's making it a lot worse than it need to be. No, you chill out and you listen to what I'm saying to you now. Like a prick then. No. Or well, whatever. It's your choice now. Well, well, take me then. You listen to. Now he back here looking like Scorpio. Should have thought about it first. What well, I'm saying. I'm listening, Arlen. You well, listen. Now, what's the dude name in Mortal Kombat that spits? Buddy's in the back looking like reptile. And answer me then. Are you gonna stay calm? I tell you, I'm you. calm on that. I tell you what's gonna happen. Listen, I'm calm. Just take me where you're taking me. Nobody's scared of you, pal. Nobody's scared of you, neither, you fat. On that note, custody, here we come. He's not a nice individual, he's. I didn't even do nothing. <gasps> oh, excuse me, he didn't even do nothing. He made it worse for himself. He's obviously he's got previous with the police, so it's a good start. <clears throat> um. We'll have to just see how it pans out, I suppose, at custody with him. <coughs> no further action was taken against the passenger, and the seized Obviously. cash was returned. Obviously. No drugs were found in the car Obviously. or on the driver, who was not connected with any drugs intelligence. He was, however, guilty of driving whilst disqualified and without insurance. He was ordered to pay a total of £213 costs, lost his license for five years and was sent down for eight weeks at Her Majesty's pleasure. Uh, he got eight weeks? He must have. Obviously, the previous charges might have. He made it considerably worse for himself. I'm not even going to lie. Brother, you had nothing on you. You was good and innocent. Oh, you would have. They just would have told your will. Coming up. People, Nick. Statistically speaking, most people nicked by the cops learn their lesson. Stand still, hands up. Shoot me, please, I need you Around 70% don't reoffend. One of our usual suspects appears to be going on a, a bit of a rampage. Unfortunately, there are exceptions. What have I done wrong? I've not been looked on. It's almost inevitable that you're going to end up dealing with the same person again. Uh, you'll have individuals that will take on board what you tell them and you'll deal with them and they'll turn the life <coughs> around and change. But unfortunately, you'll still have those individuals that will continually break the law. Break the law in, say, a blue transit. I used to be one of those individuals that just continued. Is, um... EYL9056, don't we all? which has just ducked down a side road suspiciously. <laughs> Phil catches up and bathes the blue van in blue light. Gadget man Phil loves nothing more than losing himself in the world of virtual reality. How are we doing? Hey, up. All right. But he's not playing games today. Are you trying to get away from me? Guilty. No, no, I told me. We'll take a seat, don't he? What you got? Let's be keys for a sec. Because you're wanted. What for? Now you failed to uh, appear at court. Take a seat on there for one of my jobs. This isn't Van Man's first rodeo. I got court in. Thirteen days. It's a W reminder. Do you currently hold a full UK driving license? Yeah. Six months back. And do you hold insurance for this vehicle? Yeah. Phil nicked him for driving a scrap van whilst disqualified and without insurance. Ultimately, you're going to be going to court for no insurance and driving whilst disqualified. Offences for which he's since failed to attend court. For a in time, I believe you're to be wanted for failing to appear. Okay, and you're also disqualified from driving. Yeah. You're trying to get away from me, weren't you? No, no, at all. Come off it. Uh, I want. How quick you turn down here? It's a cordial affair as they shoot the breeze about his last stop. That was exactly the same location as last time, weren't it? <laughs> well, it was just a bit further down, wasn't it? Yeah. It'd be unbelievable how 
criminals just do the same stuff over and over again in the same area. It's but crazy. Phil's ready to ruin the reunion. I failed to appear on the 26th of August. I've been done with. He denies failing to attend court, but one fact's beyond dispute. He's showing uh, Delta Delta until 16th of September 2024. He's still disqualified from driving. Yeah, Ruthie, really, thank you. Yeah, we'll do. Are we leaving it on uh, Central Avenue? Oh. I'm just going to quickly check that because there's a bit of confusion. Uh, He's still showing live this warrant. Been it was issued by Nottingham Magistrates Court on the 26th of the 8th. I've been to, I've been to, um, Notts Crown since. He's adamant that he's nothing outstanding with the courts. The police computer's adamant that he has. You may have gone to Crown Court, there's obviously something gone off between you being at Crown Court and this warrant to Magistrates Court. The warrant's still alive, so something's going to have to get dealt with by the courts, all right? Has it got dealt with yet, Matt? In other words, buddy, you're going to jail. I don't even think it's registering to you. The jig is up. Magistrates, and then they sent it to crime. No, that was the job involving the dangerous driving side of things. Yeah. Yeah. Keep up. When I stopped you up here, you were reported for disqual disqualified driving, no insurance. That's what the job is in mag magistrates court that you've not been dealt with for. Not the Crown Court job. That that job. So many jobs. So I'm not disputing the fact that you've been at another court after that, but it was not for that offence. We're going to take you to the police station. You're going to get processed today for these offences. Uh, and then put before the court, as well as that warrant, because ultimately, you take it, you take it, make a little bit, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, well, going straight to court. Because I'm dealing with you. I ain't faffing around. Phil doesn't faff. True to Phil's word, his familiar face went to court in the morning. He pleaded guilty to failing to appear, disqualified driving, and no insurance, plus a string of unrelated offences. He awaits sentencing, but should prepare for a period behind bars. Just take the time at this point. Get it all off your record. I guess I shouldn't be driving. I know I shouldn't be driving, but I've got a drug habit to fund. And if I don't, I just end up committing serious crime. So, here we are. It's just cycle. No worries. I'll leave you be for a short time. Bye. Right. That's it. Tell her, leave a like, comment.